Hi, I'm Alice and this is my Frugal Wonderland and today I'm going to be doing a really quick and easy tutorial using kits that I actually received from pandahall.com. So recently pandahall.com reached out to me and offered to send me some items um, from their website. I chose a bunch of things. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description below. I want to show you a little project using two of the kits that I ended up picking up from their website. So if you guys don't know, pandahall.com is kind of like a jewelry findings um, crafty site. Panda Hall has a ton of awesome, amazing things. They have beads, charms, cabochons, um, jewelry making tools. They have a ton of little crafty kits. And a lot of the stuff on their site are pretty inexpensive. And on top of that, they always have specials and sales and coupon codes. They were kind enough to give me a coupon code to share with you guys to get an additional 10% off of your purchase. So that coupon code is YXYTB Alice, A-L-I-C-E. I'll go ahead and have that on the screen here, but um, that will give you an additional 10% off of your entire purchase. And that coupon is valid until June 27th. So definitely go ahead and check out their site. But um, for this tutorial, I am going to be using two kits that I had per that I had chosen from their site. Um, the first one is the iron split key rings with ribbon ends and a steel clamp um, flat nose pliers. I'm also going to be doing using the leather crafting kit that came with 18 pieces. I'll go ahead and have all of these items listed in the description below. So this is probably one of the quickest, easiest projects I, you can possibly do. As long as you have the supplies to make this, it probably takes less than five minutes to create. So I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to make these cute little faux leather um, key fobs. They are so easy, but they look so cute. You could always embellish the strap or add a little dangle on the side here as well, but I kept it fairly simple. Some people like to um, double layer the leather. So you'll have the le leather piece on the outside and on the inside. Like I said, I kept this fairly simple and this is just a quick and easy project. Besides this kit here with the um, flat nose pliers, all you need is um, the leather, faux leather sheets and something to cut them with. For this, it's like the bare minimum as long, like I said, as long as you have the supplies, it is a really quick and easy project. So I made this one out of the little leather um, lemon sheets. So I just cut a strip of that and these are so easy to cut. It's like a faux leather and on the back is just kind of like a soft little fabric. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I made this. So like I said, this is really easy to cut. I literally took one of these paper cutters that I have and I just chose one of the sheets. I'm gonna do a um, grapefruit one here and I'm just gonna cut it. You literally just slip it in and just cut it. Easy peasy, I'm telling you. So these little um, ribbon ends here, they're about an inch wide. So I try to cut these just slightly under an inch, maybe just at the inch line. So I just line that up there, make sure it's as straight as I can make it. And then I just take the little cutter and go back and forth quick and easy. No fuss. It just slices really nice. There's no fraying or anything like that. So this is just the grapefruit one. And the kit that I grabbed came with six of these little clamps. It was um, three different colors and two of each um, color. So there was that little bronze one. And then we have this um, like gunmetal and just a regular silver one. And then I believe they also have these um, they sell these separately. So there's the little strap there and I didn't do any measurements. These are not very long strips, but I just went on the long end of this and then folded it in half. These aren't really long enough to be a wristlet or anything like that, but I think they're so adorable. So I just cut one little strip there. I'll do this one in one of the silver rings. So what I do is I grab my little flat nose pliers and then I take whatever um, ribbon end I'm going to use and I just 
slide it in there and then I just kind of pinch it down just slightly and then I try to line up the ends of this little um, leather ribbon and I stick it in the middle and then quick and easy I just pinch it down and that's it <laughs> I just make sure it's pinched down nice and tight and you're done when I tell you this is probably the easiest project you can do it is so simple so easy and they're just so cute I love it so we have our grapefruit and our lemon so that is just a quick and easy fun little project um, that you could make within minutes as long as you have all the supplies you need I think these things are so cute and like I said you could always embellish these or you can um, double like layer them up or hang a little dangle off of there but I think these are so cute and so much fun to make and you could make a bunch of these especially with these kits here um, but that is just quick and easy to using two of the kits from pandahall.com I think these are perfect little gifts to put in Happy Mail because they just slip into a little envelope. They don't weigh a lot and I think they're just so cute. If you're interested in purchasing any of these kits, I'll have them linked in the description below. If you want to get an additional 10% off of your purchase, you just go ahead and use my code YXYTBALICE, A-L-I-C-E, and that will get you an additional 10% off. And that code is valid until June 27th. I will be coming on here again sometime soon to show you guys another project using some of the items that I picked up at pandahall.com. If you like this quick and easy, simple project, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. All right, guys, till the next one. Bye.